What's up, everybody? First of all, I'm on the Twitters now. I tweet, I dabble in the 140 character soiree. So follow a nigga like you'd follow a cult leader, and let's drink the Kool-Aid together. That got real dark. Episode 5, y'all. So the show starts off, Ragnar's there chilling with Ethel Stan, and you could just see by the conversation how cool Ragnar really is. Ethel Stan's asking important questions like, Yo, am I still a slave? Does it matter? Yeah, y'all motherfuckers treat slaves worse than dogs. Do I treat you like a dog, homie? And Ethel Stan keeps going on about you guys do this, you guys do that. That and Ragnar's just like, yo, okay, let me let me stop you there for a minute. Okay, you talk about us. You is us, nigga. Have have you seen where you are? Finally, Ragnar snaps at the end of the conversation. He's like, yo, I'ma need you to shut the fuck up right now. I can't exactly remember the dialogue, but it was something like that. Then everything's nice and peaceful. I could have mistaken Ragnar's farm for the suburbs when suddenly. Time go down, y'all. And I'm confused as fuck. I'm like, this is your own people. What the fuck is happening right now? Is a random village from down the block raiding? Then I saw the Earl on his fucking horse talking about Let the nigga that thinks he's descended from the gods feel the ass whooping I'm about to deal out. Finally, Team Earl make it to Ragnar's house. Inside, Lagatha trying to arm her family up. Ethelstan looking at the Bible. I was like, Ethelstan, put the Bible down and grab an axe, damn it. All this going on, I'm like, Ragnar, where the fuck are you? Finally, this nigga's spidey senses kick in. But as soon as those spidey senses started tickling, this nigga went north to 100 real quick. Nigga runs into town doing running bow shots. I'm like, that nigga's descending to Legolas. Dude finally makes it to his house with Gammy lag and then POW! Arrow to the damn back. Thing that really disgruntled me about that whole arrow to the back was that little motherfucker that shot him. I hate him. He goes inside, tells his family to get in a secret passageway, and Bjorn just like, I wanna stay with you. Now he was patient with this little motherfucker, but just saying no, you can't stay me? Boy, if you lost your goddamn mind, I got a chunk out my leg missing and an arrow in the back, plus a nigga outside fitting to kill my ass, and you want... Get the fuck out of here. Then Ragnar the Beast walks outside, falls to his knees in front of the girl. Now, I ain't gonna out nobody, but the gangster I was watching it with had a tear in his eye. And maybe I was a little shook up too, dude praying to Odin his dad and shit. But you never count a nigga down. Dude makes a miraculous escape and his family make it to the boats. Now, in order not to look suspicious, they lie down in the boat. Cause a boat without a person floating on the water ain't suspicious at all. They chase Ragnar to an end of the cliff and I'm expecting some epic viking dive. This nigga straight up fell into a belly flop. So Ragnar's family's in the boat looking at a motherfucker drowning. Ethel stands sitting there like, okay, so this shit's on me now. But Ethel Sam saved the motherfucker, so I guess they're even with the life savings. We finally get back to the girl, and he's having a party, and he's invited this Santa Claus reject looking ass nigga. Nero's like, hello, this is my wife, uh, this is my daughter. Maybe you want to sit next to my daughter. You know, get to know better. He tried to slip it through the cracks, but his wife heard. Excuse me, why should he know her better? Darren uh, Gersh be married. Married, have you? It has been decided. And this bald, big old motherfucker just dwarving this pretty young thing goes, We were, <coughs> we were, <coughs> we were, <coughs> You know what, I can't do the voice. Dude goes, you will bore me many boys. Code? There's gonna be some fucking. The Earl then in private discusses what happened to their boys. How they got killed. And I'm like, I understand now where the pain inside of you comes from. Then he spoke about his boys' heads being put to their asses. And I laugh, I'ma be honest, I laugh real good. But I felt his pain. Then we cut the float and he's pimping his wife out. Y'all Vikings, some freaky motherfuckers. Santa Claus Dan has his wedding. 
Yero's wife then goes up to Rolo. And the eager nigga he is just goes up and kisses her. And she's like, no, I'm not. What? Dude's standing there looking dumb as shit. What? I was... I was certain. What? No? Okay. And she's like, look, my husband fucking hates you. This dumbass nigga is just like, nah, man, that dude loves me. He's been nothing but courteous since I came. But big fella didn't listen, got captured, and he got tortured. The news of his brother's torture finally reaches right now. And dude had that freaky calmness to him, like when you break up with a crazy woman. You know the type of girl is just like, oh, you're breaking up with me. Okay. Ragnar starts wobbling towards the door with his gammy leg. Floki, I need a favor. Tell the Earl I want personal combat. If he does not accept, he's a bitch made nigga. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.